and also connected to that same disturbance that was around our area early this week, finally making more of a move to the south and likely start to move to the north. So that puts us in a continued northeast wind pattern. There's still moisture that will be wrapping around that low, even though it will be off the east coast instead of our coast. The northeast flow and the circulation will still bring in some of the cloudiness connected to that disturbance. It's not going to bring us a whole lot of rain, if any at all, through the night and into the morning hours. But I would suspect that we can have more clouds that kind of mix in with the sunshine tomorrow with a northeast breeze. That will be noticeable. There can be a few showers squeezed out, especially towards coastal areas and in the Suwannee Valley, I-75 counties. But other than that, a passing shower is going to be very brief, not very heavy at all. And we'll start to have a clearing trend as deeper dry air starts to wrap further around that low and come across the tri-state and state line areas for your Saturday morning. So that sets us up for what's looking like a fine Saturday afternoon. Any rain with that disturbance stays well to the north, but we will still have at least occasional clouds to come in. And on Sunday, also not too shabby, there can be more cloudiness across inland areas around and north of the state line for your Sunday afternoon. But all of that will also support temperatures that will not be incredibly hot. So you wake up in the morning, you have temperatures as low as about 60 in the tri-state, lower 60s, I-10 in South Georgia, mid 60s in the Suwannee Valley. So that's running about five to 10 degrees below average in many areas. And if you have thicker layers of clouds for a longer amount of time tomorrow, you may be stuck in the 70s. That's been the latest trend as of the last couple forecast data runs. So we'll see if that 82 for Tallahassee needs to be adjusted downward even more. And we could maybe see some highs that stay below 80 for your Friday. Northeast winds for boaters. Small craft should use caution. Seas running about two to four feet tonight and tomorrow afternoon. Saturday, I think that's the prime day of the holiday weekend. We'll have a lot of sunshine. We'll have comfortably warm temperatures, a crisp, cool morning, crisp by May standards anyway, warming up by Memorial Day, isolated showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms by midweek. More ahead for you in just a bit.